Kathy Kaiser, Executive Director of Ronald McDonald House Charities of Bismarck. Thank you much for joining us here today. Let's start off by talking about what it is that, that you do and maybe some of the services you guys provide. Well, um, as I said, we're with Ronald McDonald House Charities, a local nonprofit in the Bismarck area, and we actually have two programs. We have our Ronald McDonald House, which is our cornerstone program, and that is um, we provide temporary housing for the families of seriously ill children receiving medical treatment in the Bismarck area. And um, we have an eight-bedroom house, and last year, uh, provided a home away from home to just under 200 families that had to travel to Bismarck to get necessary life-saving treatment for their um, for their children. The majority of our families are premature babies and their families that are just staying here until they're big enough to go home. But we do um, handle any kind of pediatric patient is welcome to stay here. We ask families to make a nominal donation of $20 a night if they're able to, but no family is turned away for inability to stay. And then about seven years ago, um, wanting to find a way to help even more children, we launched our Ronald McDonald Caramobile program, and that is a state-of-the-art um, mobile dental program that travels around western North Dakota um, bringing um, oral health care to underserved children in their own neighborhoods. For many of the 1,800 kids a year that we serve, uh, we are the only dentists they have ever seen or will ever see, and um, we provide life-saving treatment for, for many of these children. So we stay very busy. Now we're going to talk about Giving Hearts Day in just a moment, uh, Some of the, as, as well as some other ways to donate throughout the year. Of course, Giving Hearts Day is one of those days where it captures a lot of people's attention, but we also like to mention that uh, charities like yourself accept donations all year long, and I imagine there's even probably a signature event that you guys are a part of. Maybe not, but a lot of times the organizations like the Ronald McDonald House do. Um, before we get into that, I'd like to talk about some of your sponsors. Uh, you and I have done an interview in the past, at least we... We were talking a little bit before we got on the air, and we discovered that it was probably three, four years ago on um, a donation XTO made uh, in regards, I think, a $25,000 donation to the Ronald McDonald House. Uh, talk to me a little bit about some of those donations, maybe some of the bigger donors, the smaller donors, just ones that really kind of help you you guys either day-to-day -day or in a pinch or that donation that allowed you to go to that next level. Just take some time and thank the people. Well, there are so many, and of course, when you um, start um, making a list like this, of course, you never want to leave anybody out, no matter what. Happens. I know, it's so hard, um, isn't it? But you know, I know, yeah. you mentioned XTO, they were wonderful to us. Um, Whiting Oil out in that part of the state, too, has also been very generous. Uh, you mentioned our signature event this weekend by our number one supporters and have been forever. Uh, the Dickinson Rough Rider Commission is hosting the cabin fever benefit at the Eagles Club in Dickinson this coming Saturday, February 9th. And um, they raise a tremendous amount of money for us every year. And they do that as a, a sort of a pay it forward because so many of the families that we serve are from the Dickinson area and they come and stay for us. And they have been doing this now, um, I believe this is the 27th year of the benefit coming up this Saturday. And it's just a great time and tickets are available and there's a live auction, a silent auction, dance, breakfast, a barbecue and all sorts of great fun going on. Um, we have so many wonderful donors, large and small. We've got churches that support us. For our Caramobile program, we have to give special thank you and acknowledgement to the Otto Bremer Trust and um, Basin Electric and Power Cooperatives, um, Thomas Rasmus Leach Foundation. You know, just there are so many terrifically generous organizations and foundations and individuals in this state, and we are so grateful for all of them. How about when it comes to Giving Hearts Day, are you guys, uh, part, I believe you're participating this year, aren't you? No, we have been a part of this from the first moment that we could be a part of it. I think this is our eighth year to be involved. Uh, the first year they expanded to Bismarck Mandan, we were already um, good partners with uh, Dakota Medical Foundation and Impact Foundation and other ways. And um, we signed on with a small group of uh, Bismarck. Uh, nonprofits that were going to participate in that first year and formed the 
uh, a collaborative of our local nonprofit agencies. And I say we had probably under 10 the first year, and I think this year we have over 40 that come together as a group and work to as a group. And um, of course, we're hoping for donations for our own nonprofits. But it's so nice to be able to present a united picture to the community of um, well, actually the whole state and invite people to um, the way I look at it I like to invite people to shop through the list of nonprofits that are available and you know make their donations to um, you know as, as many as they um, are attracted to at that moment it's just a great way to introduce people to other charities that they might not have thought of um, donating to you know and everybody has their own strategy when it comes to <clears throat> ways to garner attention or get support, that sort of thing. And sometimes it's as simple as, uh, you know, sending out emails and newsletters. Other times, you know, they, symbols and, a, who knows, a Main Street band just to try to get attention. It's all in good competition and good fun because at the end of the day, it's, it's one of the largest um, donation days, at least in the upper Midwest. And are you guys doing anything? Do you guys, have you guys done anything in the past uh, as far as, you know, a little bit more activity-wise to, to get that kind of attention and maybe other years where you didn't do as much. Talk to me about just some of the either social or community activities you guys have done on that day. Well, of course, we rely upon our, our volunteers and our board members to become involved and to spread the word with um, with their, their friends and family and uh, the, their co-workers and people that they see. You know, we do pretty much what... Um, the other charities do with uh, uh, reminder notices and emails to our former donors of, about what what we're doing and to remind them um, of when the happy day is coming. This year, of course, we're hosting with the other Bismarck nonprofits um, a legislative day, which we have done in the past, and the governor and the first lady usually kick it off for us, and just a chance to visit with the uh, um, the uh, legislative members from around the state, and uh, we usually get some good publicity from that, too. Um, you know, we put up the uh, lawn signs like um, the other people do in town, and we're red and just about the, the buttons to remind people and anybody to run into about what, what's going on this day. And uh, it really is a sense of community celebration, um, it just... Uh, uh, create this, you know, great opportunity for one day of giving. And I, over the years that we've been in, well, since the beginning now, they've raised over $55 million, which is absolutely unbelievable. And we're just delighted to be a part of it. One of the best things for us is that we have um, found a way to make contact with a lot of new donors that perhaps we might not have found if it weren't for Giving Hearts Day. And they can seek us out on givingheartsday.org and indicate what they want to do. But, um, you know, as a, as a nonprofit, you're always looking for a way to not only retain the donors that you have, but to make new contacts, too. And this has been just a wonderful vehicle for us to do that. That's one of the things that we found fun about this year, adding some Giving Hearts interviews to our programming, because, you know, in all honesty, the majority of our radio stations we're on about 30 radio stations and the majority of them are west of bismarck we're on a couple in bismarck uh 1280 a.m and then you start heading west and that's where the primarily they are they're you know they're in dickinson williston um sydney montana you know Bay, miles city montana we're talking eastern montana and then down into the black hills south dakota and, and, and into wyoming and for us, it's exciting because um, these nonprofits and charities are starting to get into our radio station range. You know, we're getting the, the Dickinson, North Dakotas, and some of the uh, Badlands Ministry out in Medora, and yeah. yourself, that type of thing. So have, what, what have you seen from being there from the beginning? From Dickinson, you're on that edge. You know, you, there was an obviously a strategy behind um, Dakota Medical and, and Impact Day and Giving Hearts Day. Uh, Impact Foundation and Giving Hearts Day to uh, have a presence in Bismarck to 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 see that kind of spread even a little bit more out west and maybe maybe even down into the South Dakotas a little bit. Have have you seen that? And what's your comments on that? I guess. 
Well, you know, having met him, as, as we said earlier, part of it from the start, you know, I think that our Dickinson friends only joined us a couple of years ago, as did the, the Minot group, too. And um, it's just so gratifying to see the, the response that um, Dakota Medical Foundation has been able to generate and the Impact Foundation by this wonderful program. And um, it's especially great because it can there are certain criteria involved in becoming a Giving Hearts Day organization, but there are very large charities and very small charities that all participated. And um, especially for us with our collaborative out here, you know, we've been able to come together and share ideas and talk about what does work and what doesn't work. And as you mentioned earlier, some of that good-natured um, competition that goes in to see who can come up with the best ideas or raise the most money or any of those fun things, we all benefit, and we're, we're better because of that and that kind of that sense of um, community um, esprit de corps just to celebrate this one day every February, February to help as many people as we can in the state. All right, final question here, and it's more of kind of uh, allowing you to give yourself a pitch so people can donate all year long as well as on Giving Hearts Day. Uh, but in addition to the radio stations, obviously we have this thing called the Internet, and so uh, we have over 350,000 social media followers through our different programs and network, and a lot of them are oil and gas executives and professionals and that sort of thing. And as we mentioned earlier, some of your donations were, are coming from the oil field because there's a lot of people using your services from the oil field. So uh, take advantage of this opportunity and speak to those exe executives listening, as well as people that may want to donate for just kind of what the cause is. So uh, kind of take the floor and uh, use it as a nice opportunity to plug the reason to give to your guys' services. Well, and you are absolutely right with the development of um, Western North Dakota. We have seen um, the population of the uh, families that are staying at the Ronald McDonald House really change, and we see they have many more out-of-state license plates in our um, parking lot in the back, and um, the different accents here at the Ronald McDonald House, and we used to have, you know, many years ago, and we just welcome these new families that have come to North Dakota for work and um, are starting families here. And um, some of them wind up in Bismarck, uh, you know, for one reason or another with their little ones with medical reasons, but we just welcome all of them. Of course, we welcome donations of any kind um, year-round. Uh, people can go to our website, which is www um, rmm. I can't talk. Excuse me. www.rmhcbismarckaltogether.org, or of course you can go to givingheartstate.org and select the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Bismarck. And um, we're listed, we're on Facebook, Ronald McDonald House Charities of Bismarck, and um, just about any place you'd want to look for us. And of course we appreciate any and all donations. 